Yes, agency prefabs finally here guys and I am so excited about it. But instead of just showing you a prefab, I'm also going to show you some cool things you can do with this prefab. So let's get into it, let's go. So the first thing you're going to see here is that the prefab is so big that they actually had to put it into two parts, which is insane, which I think is pretty cool, but you'll see there, I did not evenly do that. And that's really irritating. So let me show you a cool trick that I learned to get this to be even when you're laying down the prefab. All right, so let's start over. What we're gonna do is grab the bottom piece of this prefab and we're gonna use that white square right there to be our guide. So that's how we're gonna get this to align perfectly. There's, you know, many ways you can do it, but basically all you're gonna do here is place it next to the white square. And you'll notice that I placed it with the grid being at the very edge there of the white square, but making sure the left white square wasn't covered. So I made it to the complete left there. So now with this top piece, what you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to kind of go up high and then push the prefab forward so it goes all the way down. What you're gonna do is basically line it up with that same white square and then once you've aligned it, you're gonna go ahead and just confirm that change and it should work perfectly. Look at that magic, guys. Look at that magic. We got ourselves an agency. Yo, what's good? Uh, I love this. It looks pretty dope. Uh, we're, let's explore it a little bit. So, you know, it's not everything from the agency. I realize it's like not every single prop. It's really close though, so I don't wanna like say it's not. It's like 95% done. This water, by the way, game changing. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. But let's go ahead and just walk around here. I don't remember uh, these orange walls. Do you guys, I don't, am I the only one that's seeing this differently? Or maybe I just haven't seen the agency in so long. I don't remember orange walls and I don't remember orange pillars, but you know, I'll take them. They look pretty cool. They look pretty cool. So, I mean, I don't mind that at all. I'll definitely take them. They look sick. Uh, but yeah, walking around here, just taking a peek. I haven't been in the agency in so long that this is just like kind of great to see the props that are in here. Um, I'm sure you can go through the prop galleries as well, but for me, I just wanted to take a look at the prefabs. Um, because you can basically get everything from the prefab that you do in the gallery. Uh, you get these amazing flags, you get the statues, you get that water effect, you get some new emblems. Guys, this is pretty dope. A lot of new builds in this too, which I'm really, really excited about. Uh, the helipad is actually on this as well. Guys, helicopters and creative, do you think? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I mean, I would love for helicopters to come into creative. That would be so cool, uh, but I don't know if they're gonna do it. Guys, let me go ahead and just finish the tour here, but we're gonna talk about the water inside uh, because that's gonna be a game changer. And let me just tell you why here in a minute. But yeah, this is basically the agency prefab. We'll go under here and there's, you know, the underground part of it as well. Um, but let's move on to the next thing. All right, guys, I am hashtag obsessed with this new water item. So. Um, this is the new water that is in the agency prefab. It is not, I repeat, it is not in the nature gallery. So this is our first look at this really beautiful clear water. It's the first water where when you look down, you can actually see what's underneath. Uh, any other water that we've used in the past, you cannot see what's underneath. So this is going to be amazing to create some really cool effects. You'll notice that pool water here, you cannot see at the bottom there. I actually have a chest under the water there. So if I delete it out, there's that chest. Guys, this is amazing. So let me uh, go through here. Now, what I discovered when I went through the galleries, the new water is not in the agency galleries, guys, that I could see. Maybe I missed it, but I did not see the water in the galleries. And I also didn't see the water when I peek through the prefabs, it may be in there, but what I did is I just copied and pasted it out of a different map. And that's the exciting part now, guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just place it down here. I'm just sizing it up. And then you'll see here, this is my empty pool. We're using this new crystal clear water and uh, we wanna make sure it's perfectly, there we go, a little too high there. So let's go back down to about right 
there, but that's too perfect. So we're gonna just line it up so the blue is still revealed, that blue line at the pool. So we're gonna go down just a little bit more. And voila, look at that beautiful pool. And I can see the chest under there. I now know there is a chest under there, which is so dope without even jumping in. Guys, this is the most realistic water we have had to date. Uh, there's so many uses for this and I'm just so excited about it. This is also gonna be great for those underwater maps where you kind of want it to look normal when you're underwater, but when you look up, you can definitely tell you're underwater. Uh, now, granted, it doesn't give you that blue hue like the other water does, but this is really sick. It just opens up new possibilities where you can just create and create these weird cool games where you're like under the sea. So that's another cool thing you can do with this. Yes, can you guys tell that I'm obsessed with the water? <laughs> More than anything in the agency prefabs, I think the water is the coolest thing here, guys. All right, we're gonna grab one of these pillars. I actually really like these pillars as well. They look pretty dope. We're gonna go ahead and place that pillar down and it is a prop, it's not a prop, guys. It's actually a building material, but I like that orange in there. So what I'm gonna do is actually resize it um, and turn it to a prop. So let's go ahead and turn it to a prop, which is real easy to do with any of the new agency prefabs. Just go building to prop on. Make sure to turn it off though when you're done, otherwise everything you touch is going to be a prop, which you do not want to build terrain with that on or you're going to screw up your entire BR map. So just looking at the cool things we can do here, let's go ahead and create a flat cylinder out of this. And now what we're going to do is just flip it right there. Look, That's kind of interesting, but it looks kind of meh. So what I'm going to do is actually flip it around and uh, we're going to go ahead and just stack it on top of each other once it's flipped. And that way it kind of just has more of a nice blend in, which I kind of like, kind of like. And you guys are like, what is he making right now? I don't know. I'm just fooling around with what we got, we got here. I'm gonna make a little statue right now, just like the one that's in the agency prefab. I'm gonna grab this beautiful sculpture right here and we're gonna go to place it down like so. And come on, come on, boom, shakalaka. And then we're gonna take that beautiful water that I am obsessing over and we're gonna size it and place it perfectly just because this looks so dope. All right, and let's just finish up the creation real quick. And as you can see, just adding some railings from the prefab gallery there, and we're gonna have a really beautiful, beautiful statue. Doesn't that look pretty, guys? That is it, that's my little statue that I created. But there's just so many cool things you can do with that water gallery, guys. Use it, use it, use it, it looks so dope. Uh, but you saw firsthand what I did with my pool. I just made a pool tutorial, and I just upgraded that pool tutorial like times 10 with being able to see the chest underneath the water. So guys, I hope this helped. Get creative, keep building, and I can't wait to see what you guys do with this new prefab. Until next time, guys, take care.